Hi everybody, this is Nate Hoffman with G Suite for Healthcare Providers. Happy Friday! So, there's been a lot of people who have recently been asking me, they're new to G Suite and they're saying, hey, how do I use this thing? And uh, so that's what I'm going to be going over, is the simplest way to start using your G Suite for documentation purposes. First and foremost, one thing to consider is, do I need to be HIPAA compliant? If you don't have to be HIPAA compliant, then that opens you up to a lot more of user options and using various add-ons that can help to automate your systems. So there's one thing to think about. Uh, number two, the easiest way to start is by using templates, and we're going to get into that. So that said, if you're liking some of this content that I'm producing, please like and share this. I want to have as far of reach as I possibly can. Also, underneath this video, I'm going to provide links for it. How, how do I know if I need to be HIPAA compliant? Number one, and we'll make video a video about that later on. And then number two, if you need to purchase G Suite, I'm gonna put underneath here in the comments a couple of uh, discount codes, okay? So here we go. We're gonna start from your email. And so this is a dummy email that I've set up so that you can see where to begin. First, I'm gonna come over to these dots over here on the right-hand side of my screen. I'm gonna push on those. And what's going to pop up is all these things. Here is my Google Drive. This is where your G Suite is located within your Google Drive. So I click Google Drive. And I come over here. And I'm going to click on New. I want to make a new document. So the main things that are located within your Google Drive are, or your G Suite, num number one, Google Docs. This is essentially like Microsoft Word. Number two, Google Sheets. This is like Excel, Google Slides, PowerPoint. If I come over here and push more, Google Forms, this allows you to make various questionnaires. You can do multiple choice. You can do um, have people add a file, like a picture, for example. And all these forms can be sent out to individuals, and they can uh, write in the data that you're looking for. This is something that I use for patient intakes. Okay. So we'll get into those at later times. And you can play around with this and, be and become kind of familiar with how they're used. Now. First things first, if you want to get started, like I said, Google Docs is the easiest way to go. So we're going to open up Google Docs. And let's say, uh, again, I mentioned making templates. So let's say I want to make this my lumbar evaluation template, right? So I'm just going to kind of make a, a quick soap note, objective, plan, and assessment. Great, so here's, here's my simple template. And again, you can make this look as pretty as you want, right? You can put a, uh, a signature down at the bottom from a, a, a photo that you already have of your signature on the computer so that you've got a signature on your documentation. You can put logos, addresses, and all that stuff that, you, that people like to see on, on a document, okay? Now from here, this is my template. I want to leave this unchanged. So let's say I have a patient come in and I want to do uh, some. I want to do an evaluation on a new patient. Great. I'm going to come in through here. I'm going to say make a copy. I want to name this by the by the patient, and I'll show you later on why you might want to be very specific about how you name this for search purposes later on. But let's say I want to call him. Let's say it's John, John Smith, and I'm going to put in a birth date of 12/19/2000. And then I'm going to put, maybe I'll put, I could even put, let's see, I'm going to name it by the eval. And let's say this is done on 8, 9, uh, 2019. Okay, so that way I know when I did my evaluation. From here, I'm going to go ahead and push OK. This is going to create a new document with the title and all this stuff that I have in there. Great, there pops up my new stuff. So let's say I've done my documentation, I finished it but I need to say this is a PDF. Great, well, I'm gonna come over here to File. You don't necessarily wanna do Download As because that's gonna download it on your computer and you don't necessarily want all this stuff on your computer, right? That's why you're using the cloud. So we're gonna come over here to Print, actually. And as we come through here, we can choose a destination. From here, I actually already have this um, chosen, which is Save to Google Drive, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and save that to Google Drive. And so now I've got a PDF in my Google Drive, just so I can show you what that looks like. Here's my Google Drive. And so that I can show you also the search options, let's put in John Smith. Great. 
And there are the two documents that I've produced for John Smith, one being uh, just the template for the evaluation, and then the other, this uh, PDF. It also tells you when it was last modified, so you actually have a record of when this was produced. Okay? So, I hope that helps. This, again, is the easiest, most simple way to start using your G Suite for documentation. I recommend making the templates and then just copying and pasting as needed. If you think about it, later on when I'm doing daily notes, it's easy since I have both a, a Google uh, Sheet as well, I'm uh, sorry, a Google Doc as well as a PDF, I can always copy and paste my data you know, or create, you know, or create an, a copy of the document and then alter all the dates and stuff so that I can, if I'm carrying over a lot of data, I don't have to change too much stuff in that new uh, daily note to then uh, save it and have a, have a new document. Anyway, again, hope that helps. Please like and share this video and uh, look forward to continuing to provide awesome content. Anyway, hope you guys have a good Friday and take care. Bye.